Hello everybody. I hope you're having a really good day at school today. And uh, I wanted to share a story in the Bible with you. And I know sometimes the stories can be so confusing, but this is a great little story that shows uh, Jesus talking to some of the children and some interesting things happen. And let's just think about that and talk about that for just a minute. So I'm going to hold up a, 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 a special Bible that has lots of pictures in and has some, some of the great stories of the Bible in. I'm going to read it to you and show you the pictures as we go along. And I'll try to hold it up so you can see, be close enough and so you can see the pictures and we'll read it together. Okay, so we're going to start over here. And there's a picture there. And uh, now we don't really know what Jesus really looked like, but that's just a, an artist who painted that picture to show maybe what Jesus did look like. And all these pictures, even like this one over here, Jesus is the one with the purple robe. All right. So there's a whole bunch of children and they're not all teeny tiny. Some are big. Some are like maybe even teenagers, but some are littler like this one or maybe this one. And I want to let you know that God loves everybody. But it seemed like in the Bible, that there's something special about the children. And we'll talk about that for in just a minute. Okay? It says this. It says, Jesus and the children. The children loved to spend time with Jesus. But the disciples, now the disciples were Jesus' helpers, and they were supposed to listen to Jesus and do what Jesus wanted and to obey what he said, but they didn't always do what they were supposed to do. We're going to find out now. But the disciples, or Jesus' helpers, didn't understand. They said, Stop! Do not bother Jesus. He's just too busy. Hmm. Do you think Jesus was too busy to spend time with the children? I don't think so. There he is again. Jesus told the disciples, the helpers, Let the children come to me. Do not keep them away. You must become like these little children if you want to enter God's kingdom. And then the last picture is there is Jesus set on a rock with a little baby and a little one and a little one there. And then maybe someone who may go to, I don't know, year five or something. And there's maybe even an older one. He may be even a teenager. And then there's a little one there and someone else there. Then Jesus blessed the children. Maybe Jesus made them better if they were poorly, but certainly he showed them that he loved them very much. And I was just thinking, why do you think the disciples, the helpers who were supposed to help Jesus, why did they say, don't, don't allow those children to come near Jesus. Don't do that. Don't do that. Were they thinking that Jesus wasn't bothered with the children? Probably. Do you think they were thinking, well, Jesus is far too busy with all these very important adults that are all around. He just doesn't have time for these children. Possibly that's what they were thinking. But here's the thing I want you to remember from that story. That sometimes, and I wonder to myself, have you ever felt like maybe... Adults don't always listen. Maybe at home even, that maybe your mom or your dad or whoever looks after you, sometimes we can get so busy that we'll be trying to get their attention and they'll say, not right now, not right now. I'm trying to do this work. Or I'm, trying, I'm focusing on this or trying to do something else. And we get really sad. Try to be patient. Being a mom or a dad is a lot of hard work. And I'm not trying to say that, that, um, that we always do the best thing. But moms and dads do our very best. But sometimes we can feel like um, adults don't always listen to us like we want them to. 
but I know your teachers and your your parents, whoever looks after you, really does the best they can. But then Jesus said, don't tell them to stop coming to me. Let them come to me. Then he said something which is really amazing. He said, you must become like little children if you want to have any part of God's kingdom, of God's place. And I'm thinking, what? How can I become like a little child? Does that mean I need to make myself shrink? No, I don't know how to make myself shrink. Does that mean I need to start talking with my voice like this and maybe sound like I used to sound when I was four or five years old? No, I don't think it means like that. Does it mean I need to start eating baby food? Blah. No, don't think it means that. What does it mean that we must be calm as little children? You know what I think that means? Uh, I think it means this. There's, there's a few stories in the Bible that show us how children can be so different than adults. Let me tell you just one story, and hopefully that will help. One day Jesus was talking to a whole bunch of people. I mean, hundreds and hundreds of people. They were up on the mountain. They were as far as you can see. And Jesus was talking all day long. And after a while, you can imagine if you're in school and you're in there in the morning, maybe you go outside to play, then you come back in and do some more work, you do some writing, or you uh, do some other kinds of things. And then after a while, your tummy starts to... What happens? You get hungry. And your tummy starts to rumble maybe like that. It shows that you're getting really hungry. And so that happened for Jesus. He was talking and after a while people were getting really hungry. And he said, we need to get these people something to eat. And the, the adults, the helpers said, well, what are we going to do? I mean, look at all the thousands of people and there's no chippy around. There's no, there's, there's no ads there that we can go and buy some food. And we, no one brought any lunches. So what are we going to do? Ah! And there was a little boy. And he walked up and, 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 and he, I can imagine that he was there. He had just a little lunch with him. He had just a few bits of bread and a few fish. But you know what? That little boy thought, you know what? Jesus is really strong. He can do anything that he wants to do. And so he walked up to one of his helpers and said, here's my lunch. Give it to Jesus. I'm sure Jesus can do something with it. And the helper looked down and like, oh, what? That little bit, that is nothing. How are we going to feed all these people with just that little bit of food? Well, even they get a little crumb and they can even smell the fish, that's not going to make them feel better from the tummy rumbling. And there's just no way. But if that's what you want me to do, okay. So, Jesus, so the helper, the adult helper, took the little lunch from the little boy and he brought it up to Jesus. And then Jesus took that little boy's lunch and he thanked God for it. And then the Bible says that he started breaking the bread and again and again and again. And everybody got fed because Jesus was able to take that little boy's lunch because he had great faith. He, had, he, he loved Jesus. He trusted Jesus so much that he didn't know how Jesus could do it, but he knew Jesus would be able to take just a little bit of something and make it a lot of something for everybody. And the Bible says that Jesus, that, that Jesus fed everybody with that little boy's lunch. And when Jesus said, you must become like these little children to enter into God's kingdom, I think it was something like that, that Jesus was saying, you adults, you think you know everything, but you know what? These little children, they have a lot of faith and they trust me. You need to learn something from them. I think that's what Jesus was meaning in this story. 
So before we go, I have a little song that I want to do for you. It's a simple little song, and it's called Jesus Loves the Little Children. We've done it sometimes in assembly, and I know you weren't, you've, we've not had assembly for a long time uh, for me to be in school, but this is a song that we've done. Uh, I've got my guitar, and so I'm gonna do this song, and I hope it'll help you to see a little bit how, that, how much that Jesus loves the children especially. So here we go. It was like this. Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world. Red and yellow, black and white, they are precious in his sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. Jesus loves the little Hey, thanks so much for letting me come into your classroom and uh, be able to have this little bit of time with you. And I hope it was, it's been helpful to try to understand the story of what Jesus was talking about. Okay, we'll see you later.